Good morning. I've had two conversations with young women yesterday that I thought I would like to share with you all today. Years ago, I mentored young women who were in troubled marriages at a church right near us, just a couple blocks from us. They had a big mentoring program and they always gave me the women who were in the most difficult marriages. Well, after five years there, we went back to our old church that we've been going to for 30 years. And several years later, the um, head of the mentoring program called me and said, we have a woman in an extremely difficult situation in her marriage. Would you mind mentoring her? And I said, sure. So yesterday we were with her. This was a couple of years ago that I mentored her. And she was telling the women that she was in, a, she, expl she didn't really go into details of the marriage and I won't either, because it was pretty devastating. But she said that she went to Christian counselors and mentoring and they all told her to divorce her husband. But then she started being mentored by me. And she said that I taught her the good in the old paths. And she said, it just, it just a light bulb went off in her, in her, in her heart just warmed. And she knew that what I was teaching with her was the right way. And so she stood for her marriage. And two years later, her marriage is fabulous. So, and she's so thankful that she stuck with him for their child's sake. And, and now that they're doing so well, he's gone, in, he's involved in a um, Bible study at their church and growing in the wisdom and the knowledge of the Lord. And my thought was that the Bible says that let no man tear asunder what God has joined together. So I will never, ever mentor or encourage women to divorce their husbands because that's discounting what God can do in a marriage, as this woman um, shared yesterday, and in many marriages, that the women um, learn to win their husbands without a word by their godly behavior. God's in the business of transforming marriages. Satan is in the business of killing, stealing, destroying. He wants to destroy marriages, but God wants to restore them. If um, So the women do their part and then leave the outcome with the Lord. So that was one really good story. And then another one is a young woman who her mother was always a career woman. And so, and she was brought up to be a career woman, but she's had children now. And her mother's still a career woman, <laughs> but she's busy at home, homeschooling, raising her children, being a helpmate to her husband. And she said that her mother called her recently and told her, how lucky and blessed she was to have a husband who worked hard to support her being home full time because she works with all these young women who are mothers and their husbands want them to continue to work because they want the money and they tell their wives, if you go full part time, then I'm gonna go part time. So they don't even see the value of their wives being home with their children and making a home for them and being a helpmate to them and so feminist, feminism has even infected the men in our culture. There's many men want their wives to work. They don't see the value of their wives at home. And so she was just telling me how thankful she is that her husband works hard, supports her, and wants her to be at home. And that's how my dad was. He never wanted my mom to work. He worked his tail off, so even in medical school, so she could be home with her children because he knew the value and, and the importance of that. And a teacher at the local high school, Christian high school that my children attended, told me that she could tell those children who were raised by full-time mothers because of how, sec how secure they were. And I see that it's, it's just God's ways are always best. So anyway, those are just the two short little stories I want to tell you that I found very meaningful to me yesterday. And I receive a lot of great stories, but these really stood out to me. So I'm, um, you know, encourage, women to fight for their marriage, to stand strong in the Lord, and to be keepers at home. Those are two things that are under um, huge attack today in our culture, you know, marriage and women being keepers at home. But we as godly women need to, especially the older women, we need to teach it and encourage it to the younger women because we know without a doubt, like Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, that God's ways are perfect and acceptable, no good and acceptable and perfect. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye-bye.